Developing tonight, the retiring Colorado Springs Police Chief Pete Carey hired as the next El Paso County Under Sheriff. Sheriff Bill Elder announced the hiring of his number two this afternoon. News 5's Andy Cohen sat down with the sheriff to talk about the switch. This is a pretty quick turnaround for Chief Carey. Sure was, Rob. It really happened pretty quickly. The current Under Sheriff announced his retirement yesterday. Sheriff Elder says that he offered Carey the job that same day and he accepted. Now this can happen that fast because the job of an Under Sheriff is what's considered an appointment position. State law allows elected officials to appoint a small number of employees to positions in a way that doesn't typically follow employment guidelines. Pete and I have been friends since 1984. We spend a lot of time together. We, we camp together. Our families are friends. The two top cops in the Pikes Peak region are joining forces in the new year. It's important for me to present the best possible thing that we can for our community, mm -hmm. and that's the way I see this. Right. Sheriff Bill Elder had high praise for his current undersheriff, Joe Breister, who came out of retirement to join his administration for the first term. Joe Breister, as the undersheriff, has done an absolutely phenomenal job. Uh, helping me make the changes that I needed to make. But he said Breister only planned on working for another four years. During his second term, Elder wants to expand regional cooperation with the police department, ideally by creating shared facilities for emergency management, evidence storage, and dispatch. He believes there's no better man for the job than Pete Carey. Well, I think it's important that, that our community knows um, that I'm more interested in keeping our community safe and intact by keeping uh, the level of experience that he provides uh, local. And Pete Carey will officially retire from the city February 1st. He's expected to start his new position at the sheriff's office on February the 11th. Watching out for you, Andy Cohen, News 5. Andy, thanks.